What's most important is that uh, the market has really, really matured. Uh, there's a lot of private equity in the Nordic landscape. There are no white spots anymore, that's for sure. Uh, also now, even in the venture capital space, there's high competition. So the ones that are going to succeed really, really, really need to do some extra to the companies they acquire. Uh, all companies that are being bought today are, by definition, very, very expensive. And you know that you're going to sell them for a lower multiple than you bought them for, which means that you work to work very, very hard with companies to change them and transform them to create value for our investors and leave good companies behind. And what this means is that the old school, and maybe that's not that prevalent in the Nordics, but the old school of private equity are being financially oriented, putting leverage on, giving incentives to management team, and really do not much more, that's over. So it's very, very competitive, and you need to bring true value to the companies you acquire. That's interesting. In this world, uh, where the landscape is shifting so fast, Theresa May one day, Trump the other day, uh, it's actually the, the visibility has never been as, as low as it is today. Um, with that said, though, there's some truth that prevail. For private equity to succeed, you need to have very, very stable legal systems. You need to have an underlying sound society, etc. So you, you're going to see continuous activity of high power equity deals, particularly in Germany and the Nordics and the Benelux. That's my conviction. Uh, you're going to see an increase, um, I think, in France. France needs change. The private equity is a change agent. So I'm quite optimistic that, no, that it will happen if Marine Le Pen does not become president. Um, so I'm actually quite optimistic, believe it or not, on Europe. I, I think Brexit will hurt the UK. It will hurt Europe a little bit, but it will probably hurt the UK. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the end of Europe at all. Marine Le Pen can be the end of Europe, but that's a different story. So Europe is good. The US was good uh, and can be good, but we don't know. Mr. Trump, uh, every tweet changes the political landscape today. Um, and then I'm actually quite optimistic of the continuous um, interest and investments in Asia. Now Asia is, is very fragmented in this, very different from Japan, so you can't barely mention them in one sentence. But I do think that Japan, for instance, will become more and more mature for private equity. South Korea is quite mature. I, I, I think India is evident. Let's see how far it goes, but it's been very much the fashion of the day. We're not there. Um, it was a big thing to say that really, I think it's going to be quite active all over the place, but that can change a little bit overnight dependent on the political development that happens. What, what I think is important, uh, I mentioned that also in the panel, private equity in, the North, in Sweden represents 10% of the private workforce. So that's only in private equity companies. And I think it was equivalent numbers in Denmark, uh, particularly, and maybe in Norway. What I think needs to happen is that we as an industry need to be even more transparent and open and, and take the dialogue with politicians. Uh, there is a polarization in Europe, but also in the Nordics today, where you have the really right and the really left winning ground. And the private equity is evidently not appreciated at all by the, by the very left. And we need to safeguard that we can justify our role in society, that we do create a lot of value, not only for ourselves and our investors, but also for society when it comes to growing healthy companies that recruits a lot of people. So we need to get this dialogue really going. I think here in Sweden, for instance, we have a very heated debate about private ownership right now, which I think is very, very, very unfortunate for private equity, but also for our country. Uh, so I, I think that when we start to get the Danish, the Swedish, the Finnish, the Norwegian politicians to start discuss and understanding private equity, I think this will cement private equity 
in the region for long. Because I think sincerely that private equity is needed because we trigger change and development in the companies we own and thereby the countries we invest into. I don't think it really matters. We are, for EQT, we are, Denmark is maybe our strongest market. Uh, so I, I don't think it really that matters. I think people, people travel. We're all Nordics, so uh, 